today I'm just going to do a little bit of weathering on my tank. I just received this tank last week. It's a, a Sherman Pro Hanglong. So uh, as you can see, I just started by adding the panels here. Now these panels, people are asking me, how do you get the panels? How do you do that? Well, there you go, the cutting board. I've used that. You can see where I've had the slope there for that. So I've cut them out and they're great for gluing on the side here. Once they're on there, they never move. People say, how do you get like the weld on the sides? You know, sort of like welding marks. Well, when I cut that out, what I do, I rub that against sandpaper at an angle. Don't do it like that, at an angle. So then you get the edge and it looks like it's been welded. So you just keep doing that until you're satisfied to, you know, the, the angle that you want on the actual panel. Okay, and it'll come out like that. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit different to the color there, but once you weather it all, it should be all right. You can just see the angles there on the tank there, if I bring it a little bit closer. And uh, it comes up pretty good, actually, so I'm quite happy with that. And um, what I'll do, I'll start on the turret, and I'll just do a little bit of weathering here and there. And as I go along, like through the weeks, that's when you, you get better. You start off and you think, oh, yeah, okay, okay. And you start getting ideas on doing things a little bit more and doing a little bit of weathering, watering marks and little dots of rust. Not too much. As I say, you want your tank to look like it's in Second World War, not 75 years after. So you just put little little rust bits on like the where you open up the hatch there. Little little dots of rust coming there. And there's probably a little bit of a stain there and that's it. You don't want to cover it all in rust. I've seen the people, they just cover it in rust. And it looks like it's 75 years after the war. So, yeah, so here, here we go. Now, olive grab tank, okay? Now, what you want to do is put a bit of khaki, okay? There you go. The uh, XF49 khaki, okay? That's uh, this paint here. So, what I'll do, give a bit of a shake. Now, I haven't got much. I'm going to have to order some more here. So, that's what I mean. I'm going to do little bits and pieces of the tank. And then what you do, you get your sponge. You just dab it in there, get a bit on the sponge, okay? Now, you want to go downwards on there, so I go down. And now I just do it really quick and just keep dabbing, okay? On the edges here. And don't forget, it's going to look, oh, yeah, but but once you finish doing it all and putting the other bits on, the, the weathering and that, it'll all blend in quite well. So... Khaki on olive drab is absolutely, it goes well. So there you go. You can see how it's changed there. I've done the other side a bit as well. Now you're going to think, oh yeah, a little bit there, a little bit there, yeah, but I'm just showing you at the moment. Okay, guys, you just blend it all in. I, I tend to rub the paint and all that and just go over the star. Always put your transfers on. For, yeah, people put transfers after the weathering. No, I don't. And then you just brush it over here. all there this is my kind of you know I don't use a, a brush to do this actually I just put all over the sponge but don't put too much on the sponge okay you put too much on the sponge and it's just going to be absolutely loads of uh, khaki see it gives it that sort of worn out on the edges and that and all the bits sticking out all shows up and obviously when I do the other bits on there like the black and the the white of the rain stains and it'll all blend in quite well so there you go guys that is uh if i can bring it that way a bit sort of worn out inside there you know that's just doing it in seconds you know so what i do what i do i normally shake the pot okay guys and then then you use that side there okay because you only just got a little bit of paint there okay you get that and you just uh start again you just rub on the bits that you that, that you want to do rub it all over uh, and if you kind of think oh no i've done too much there on one area well you know if you've got the, the the paint for the tank the olive drab you just go over it again and uh, get rid of it you know so there you go it's uh blend it in I'm not one for spray spray paint because uh, for a start I haven't got a, a spray gun, so just, just going all the areas where 
You know, I can't put all the little accessories on as well, but I want to blend that in with it as well, you know. Got to glue this bit in as well. Let's keep coming out. I'll go the star a bit there. See, as you keep working on it, it's all blending in the end, you know. So it's looking uh, looking pretty good. See, and, and as I just show you there, see, it's like really light there, you know. Well, don't worry about that because what you do, you know, you're going to put stuff on top of that as well. So if I get a little bit of black there, okay, I'm just kind of, you know, just smudge it down a bit like that. Over there a bit. I did that deliberately just there, just to show you uh, that, you know, you can change it just by smudging it in with some of the stuff here. This, I call it the ladies' makeup, but it's not, you know. It's, uh, see, and it changes that straight away, you see. Yeah, yeah, you can keep rubbing it in. So, and this side as well, you just get a little bit of black there. And, uh, just smear it down like that. One top there as well. Right, so let's have a look at that now. As I say, I'm just doing that little bit there because I'm going to have to order some more khaki, okay, guys? So, uh,. It's looking a little bit better, you know, it's, uh, obviously it still needs a lot more work and that. And, uh, I'll show you the finished, uh, you know, when I finish doing all the weathering completely, I'll show you what it looks like. But, um, I'll just show you one of my other tanks, okay? I'll like to move the camera and show you. So that's it, guys, it's, uh, it's well, sort of weathered and all that. So, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, I'll tell you a tip about these bags, okay? When Hang Long send these uh, accessories, okay, they all look the same, okay? So, uh, what what I'll be doing is taking these off. I'll be taking the backs off as well. You see the backs as well? I'll take those off. That shrunk a bit, that one. And I'll be redoing them. And uh, when I redo the accessory bits, I'm just going off um, high weathering bit here, but I'll just show you on the bags that I've done here as I've been weathering them as well so there, there you go now that bag is the one I just showed you on the tank now you see how it's different I curved it round a bit but it's totally different okay because you don't have all the bags exactly the same now this one is a bit is flattened a bit you see see how thinner it is I put the straps on as well and this one here that's kind of like the original one, but I have changed it a little bit. It's a little bit thinner than the, the original one. So that's three bags that were the same, but look totally different. Put them at the side angle. You can see. Okay. Now this one here I made, I still got to do some weathering on it and still got to tart it up a bit, you know. That's just out of an old chamois, okay. Uh, this one here. This is another bag that I haven't quite finished yet as well. And that I curved it to the side so it overhangs on the tank. Uh, and this one I made as well. That's just like a little US bag. And uh, as I go along, I'm going to get better at obviously making them. So so that's the weathering of the bags. Okay, and uh, distorting them to a different shape. So, uh, yeah, as you can see there, the weathering on this is... Uh, I'll just turn it around the other way just to show you guys the weathering on the side there. See, there you go. It's, um, you see how the mud is splattered up on here and also looks a little bit like rust, but obviously it's mud. So there you go. It's, uh, it's all fun and games when you're doing weathering. So I'll just show you my other Sherman tank as well. Right, this is another one that I've been weathering as well. This has got more watermarks on it. And, uh, because I haven't put those on yet, I've got to, I've got to stick a lot of the stuff on that falls off. So there you go, that's, uh, a lot more, uh, 
See a little bit of rust on the corner there. In fact, that could be a little bit too much rust on the corner there, but, and the rust coming down here, maybe a little bit too much, but it's not too bad. It's at the front there. Obviously the tracks, uh, you can do a little bit more rust on the tracks because they did rust a bit more. So there you go, you can see the weathering on the side there. What I'll do with my new tank, I'll do a side panel, okay? I'll do a whole complete side on the video now just to show you guys how I can get it like that. There you go, it's a dirty, dirty beast. See the star on the back there? It's kind of worn out and mud on it and, and at the front there as well. So uh, it, it, it's strange how the camera doesn't show the true colour of the Sherman that I'm trying to show you here. I've done the tracks as well, you know, I painted all the tracks black and, and uh, brown and it's, it actually, it's actually coming off while, while I'm playing with it, you know, so it's, uh, I'll have to redo those again sometime, you know. So uh, you see inside there I painted like a all brown, dry, mud sort of colour. Now, I'll just show you one panel on the new tank I'll do now. Now, uh, <laughs> yeah, when, you, when you're making a video, you know, you want to get done quick to show you guys, you know, so I'm going to rush this. Normally, I take a long time doing it. Let's see if I can put the camera up a bit higher. Let's have a go here. Hang on. Okay, I've got the tank on the side now. So, now you remember this is weathering, okay? This is not artwork, this is just chucking the paint on. A lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, no, 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 you gotta do it this way. Get the spray gun and all that crap, you know, but nah. Well, I'll do get a bit of paint, dab it on the woodwork there. the tank a lot of it's got a lot of white dust on it you know obviously if it's been passing buildings and then the building has been blown up and the dust is floating around there's a lot of the time it's sort of like a white dust flying around in the battle zone you know uh, there you go that's kind of looking a bit different to uh, the other side now the other side is a little I painted a little bit because of the you know I've done a little bit there but that there so that there, which I've just done in seconds, really. But it's totally different, you know, guys. See, it's that white. It's it's actually the white that makes it stand out better on the weathering. It's pretty good. Just put a little bit. Don't go over the top of it. Yeah. And then, obviously, with that, again, you're going to have, like, the, the dark streaks coming down. So then you get a little bit of black, okay? And you, you put... On the edge, okay. Put a little bit of black on there again. Don't forget, I'm just using my finger here, guys. Okay, so uh, there you go. That's looking a, a little bit better. Could be a. Uh, a little bit of mistake here with that white line going that way. It's, uh, as I say, you can just blend it in with a bit more paint, you know. A little bit of soot blown there on the side of the tank as well. So there you go. You can see it's actually weathering in quite nice now. But as I go along, see now that is like looking more like white and a little bit of dirt on there. But then I'll put like a... Uh, the brown dirt there now which i'll do it don't forget guys i'm doing this pretty quick for you okay guys it does take a little bit longer for me to do but just to show you on camera okay that it can be done pretty quick and you still get a good result so a little bit of lightish brown paint okay there just dab it on the wood down below here just get rid of it and then what you do you want to go along like this yeah just dab it along like the mud's kicked up. A little bit more.
don't forget this is um this is not rust I'm doing guys this is uh mud okay so let me just do it again and let's damp off a bit corners as well yeah. so here you go that's uh now if you think oh yeah it just doesn't look too but you know what then you just get your your white stains again just put those down and blend all that in again what it is it just keeps work just keep working on it you know want to put a little bit of As I say, this white is definitely the thing that makes the weathering look really good. Because as I go along, I'll show you in other videos later with this tank, what it'll look like, you know? It'll look, uh, it should look like my other tanks because I'm doing the same sort of uh, thing that, there you go, so. Let me just take it away from the light just to see so there you go. It's a little bit different now. So yeah, I like to sort of hide that sort of numbers and that, you know, sort of. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking okay. So uh, I'll carry on doing the tank and show you guys. Now also I've got this panel line, okay. This is pretty good for filling in the little uh, the little creases in the tank, you know, just to give it that, uh, make it stand out a little bit better, you know. So I'll give it a good old shake here and. Uh Okay, as I was saying about the rust, okay guys, I'll just show you a quick little thing just to dab it on the hinges there. Okay, there you go. This is rust orange. Can't really see it really, but there you go. Rust up there. Because if you do too much, then you can just dab your finger on it. If you just want a little rust stain running down the edge, that'll run down. That's all we need there. On the edges of the tank here, where the rust will just run down to the corners. There you go, it's just rusting down on the corner. Don't forget when I'm weathering this, uh, some of the rust will be hidden again. There. Okay. Dab that like that. Now this here, the, the old wheels here. You see how it's just highlighting all the bits that are sticking out. Obviously, obviously, when I uh, weather that a bit more, it's not going to be so sort of like khaki-ish. Now, I haven't done this with a paintbrush on there, so I hope it's going to be alright, guys.
weathering. As you can see, the wheels there. Well, if you look at that side, I haven't finished those yet. Obviously, you've got to get the glare off the, the wheels, off the tyres as well, you know, the rubber. See, there you go, there's, there's the new ones that haven't been painted yet. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I will carry on doing this video, uh, another step of weathering on top. This is just showing the sides and a little bit of the turret at the moment. Well, my son said he wanted his tank weathered. He said he didn't want it looking so new. So what I've done, I've just gone over it with a couple of uh, khaki paints. I just sort of dabbed it on, rubbed it on, put a little bit of a white wash stain there for like the rain stains and a little dabs of mud here with this. So uh, yeah, it's looking all right now, aren't you? You like that, yeah? yeah? And what he said, he said, can I have the tracks painted please, Papa? So I said, yeah, okay then. So uh, I've got to do the other side. So uh, it's looking alright actually. I like the shades of like green on it now. It's like that worn out sort of like bleached, sun bleached look. And <laughs> when I came around to this side to do it, he says, oh, you've broken the number, Papa, but I haven't. It's just like, it's, you know, it's, uh, the paint's sort of gone over it. So it looks quite nice. It, it does look like it's worn out. And uh, that's one thing that I do is uh, I put the transfers on before I paint. It's just like like uh, the real tanks, you know. They, they have like all the, the stars on and the numbers all on the tank there and then. And then they go out in the battlefield and it all smudges in and just blends in with the weathering. And uh, yeah, it's all looking... Uh, there you go, this is the bucket I made. And... Uh, yeah, there's a little uh, thing that I had from this tank where you unclip all these bits here. So I cut that off and I made like a, if it's focusing properly, where you can put the bucket on. Looks alright. So it's... Uh, it's already ready, Frank. Yeah, I will do that, my boy. So it's looking alright. Are you happy with that on here? Yeah. Because I just painted the tracks outside, or well, one of them, shall I say. What I've done, I coat it over with a black. Then I put a brown. That's right, yeah. It's broken, no light blue. Yeah, and uh, then I put like a rust effect on the track outside. And because when you go over the over the, in the garden on the slabs or the tiles, shall I say, uh, your tracks will end up like this one down here. There you go. Now it doesn't look really real, that you know. It's, it's quite nice that. And this too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we've been making like a little tight hole and wrap. Are you sick? Magic! Mm. So, there you go. It's all right, Annie? Yeah. So, so there's all these little bits here. Uh, this is rope that I kind of made. You get a bit of string. And then the string, uh, obviously, you put like glue all over it and smear it down so it goes solid and then just wrap it around your finger. And that is solid. Listen to that. It's like a bit of like a stone. And there you go, there's the back of my, all the stuff put on there. As I say, this is just an old chamois. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's alright, it rolls up well. And you can mould it to any shape, you can but bend it to any shape you want. Bigger. Yeah, yours is bigger, yeah. So, looking happy days. And uh, what we'll do, we'll go outside and have a look at the tracks now, come on. In. And you need to paint it, yep. but you can paint the same. Okay, my boy. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, guys, so uh, so we're in Thailand at the moment, and uh, the weather out here is boiling hot because painting the tracks out here, they soon dr get dry pretty quick, you know. 
So there you go. You can see like the rust effect on it already, like. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's probably another. No, I only painted that not so long, so it's going to take another maybe half an hour to dry. And of course, uh, when you'll be going over these tiles, all the black will come off on the treads, and it'll look quite good. So there you go guys, just a little short video just to show you uh, what I've done so, so far. This is our little course here, this is where we drive the tanks on here. Keep the grass really short okay on this bit. When we take it over there, it gets stuck and it's very slow on that bit over there because the grass is longer. But here is perfect, as you can see, you can see the ground there. So we have our little battleground here, we have like a little circuit where we have a race around here. We come here and then what we do, we bring the tank up on the tiles here. And uh, we don't go fast, we just bring it up slowly up here and take it down here. And this is like our little course thing here. We drive the tank down here yeah. and then we bring it around here and, then, and we guide it through the gap and there. Then, look, and, and he's and pretty good. That's right. That's right, yeah. Yeah, we take the tank down to the end, eh? That's right, and we turn the tank down the end and then we bring it back, eh? And you're very good at that, eh? That's right, yeah.